How would you feel if your childhood curiosity ended up shaping the course of history? A young boy born in the heart of Italy would grow up to do just that. His name? Galileo Galilei. Born on a crisp winter's day, February the 15, 1564, Galileo entered a world filled with the melodies of his family's musical talents. His father, Vincenzo Galilei, a noted musician, had dreams of his son following in his harmonious footsteps. Yet the young Galileo had a different rhythm beating in his heart, one that pulsed with a fascination for the natural world and the sciences. The young Galileo found himself at the Camaldolese Monastery in Vallombrosa, where he began his educational journey. Initially, he dipped his toes into the field of medicine, but the allure of mathematics proved too enticing, drawing him into its complex and intriguing depths. The University of Pisa became his playground, a place where he explored a myriad of scientific disciplines, quenching his thirst for knowledge. Here, an incident with a swinging chandelier in the Pisa Cathedral sparked a moment of inspiration. Timing the swings with his pulse, he stumbled upon the concept of isochronism, the principle that the time taken for a pendulum's swing remains constant, regardless of its amplitude. This fascination with motion was not fleeting, but rather it set the stage for his later revolutionary work in the field of physics. In 1589, Galileo's devotion to scientific exploration was cemented when he assumed the role of a mathematics professor at the University of Pisa. However, his unyielding support for Copernican heliocentrism, a theory that directly contradicted the widely accepted geocentric model, put him at odds with the Catholic Church. The spark that ignited in Galileo's childhood, his relentless pursuit of knowledge and his audacity to challenge the established norms, fueled his future discoveries. His early life experiences painted a portrait of a man whose curiosity and independent thinking would forever change the world of astronomy and physics. The boy from Pisa didn't just study the world, he transformed our understanding of it, proving that sometimes the stars we reach for are not above us, but within us.